about this, um, the way the Bible is color code is quite interesting. So, it's when just, you it's just a helpful thing. okay, really so when you it. say prophecies of Christ in the New Testament, do you think some prophecies could be just um, tailored and doctored by the authors of the New Testament? Well, if that's the case, then how can we trust anything? Then? If, if God is not able to preserve his words, then... The reason why I ask this, because in my examination of the New Testament text, I find these prophecies have been manufactured, adulterated and distorted from the Old Testament texts. Okay. Open up the first book in the New Testament. I can give you some examples. Matthew, yeah? Yeah, open up Matthew. Let's start with Matthew. Let's do open up the first page of Matthew. So, okay. Behold, a virgin shall be with child. So, no, no, no. I'm going to give you examples why I think the New Testament writers have distorted prophecies or invented them rather. So, if you look at these, this is Matthew trying to make Jesus the son of David, right? And he gives you the genealogy. Yes. And he says these are all together here. 14 generations. Yeah. All of the generations are 14. From Abraham to David, from David to the time of exile to Babylon, and from that to yeah. Christ, right? Yeah. I know three lots counted. of three lots of 14. He says these are all the generations. Not just some of the generations, all the generations. You can check that in Greek. If I'm not mistaken, this is how it says clearly in Greek there as well. Okay. All the generations. So he's making 14, three lots of 14. Have you ever counted them? Yes, this, look, this is my numbers here. Okay. So, so no, no, I'm not asking you to count now. Are these all the people mentioned in the Old Testament, in the genealogy that he is quoting? Or are there more or less? Oh, no, I haven't checked all right. of them, but I've seen the, quite a few of them. There are certainly more people within the genealogy. He's made you grandsons so. He's made grandsons into sons. So he's omitted, for example, he gives, like in verse 11, where is verse 11? Uh, yeah. Yep. Josiah begat Jeconiah. Yeah. Josiah did not begat Jeconiah. Jeconiah and the brothers were the grandson children of Josiah. The middle person who's well, missed... Look, I want to check now because I can... Yeah. I, I got the references here. So Excellent. Please do. I can see 11... 1st Chronicles 3, 15, 16. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a... Do you, what's it called? Like, they use this. It's this one. The mark. Uh, oh, yeah, that is actually. Yeah. I never use it. So. Now you can. Right. Okay, so you can come back to it. First Chronicles 3, 1 Chronicles 3, 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah, so let's look. The sons of Josiah, the firstborn Johanan, mm -hmm. the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom. Yep. And the sons of Je yeah, Je Jehoiakim. Jeconiah, his son, Zedekiah, his son. So you have Josiah, right? I'm going to lose it. Josiah has... Let's, it's nothing. We're going to visualize it. His sons right. of Josiah. Josiah. No, Josiah. First, yeah. Johanan. No, Josiah is the person in question. And the sons were Josiah. So he, he has a son called Josiah? No, it says the sons of Josiah were Johanan. First, Johanan. Yeah, that's it. Johanan. Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. It's a Z, right? Zedekiah. And the fourth one? Shalom. Shalom. Right. And then there's, there's, uh, then there's the son of Jehoiakim. Now, go back to the New Testament. He says the sons of Josiah. Josiah had begat who? Jeconias. So you don't have any Jeconias here. Right? Right, let me look. So Josiah, according to Matthew, is Jeconiah. Now I know who Jeconiah comes from. Jeconiah comes from him. So if you go into 1 Chronicles 3, 15, 16, and the sons continuing from Josiah's children. Yes. Go ahead. 
Oh, and it's the sons of Je Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. The sons of Jehoiakim. So he's giving the children of Jehoiakim now is? Yeah, Jeconiah. Jeconiah, there you go. Zedekiah. And Zec so on. So now we establish that the children of Josiah are these four. Je Jehoiakim is the son and Jeconiah, which Matthew gives to be the son, is actually the grandson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's omitted this name. You might think, is he shortening for something like a, some kind of mystery um, you know numerology like he wants to make 14 specific things clearly he's omitted this name yeah he's omitted this name now here is what we know we know even the reason why Matthew omitted this name. If the reason wasn't, I will show you, God willing. If the reason wasn't significant, then you'll say, oh, maybe he's some kind of things. But because he's giving you a historical genealogy, making Jesus the, Jesus to be what? Son of David. That's the thesis, right? Son of David. Now go into Jeremiah 36.30. If I'm not mistaken about the reference. 36 and 30. <laughs> Therefore, thus said the Lord of Jehoiakim, King of Judah, and you shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat and in the night of, to the frost. Okay, so now my reference is correct. God is saying about Jehoiakim. Okay. Can you repeat that again? Once again, so we all hear it. Yeah, therefore thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David. Right, so Jehoiakim will have no none right to sit, upon to sit on the throne of David. And his dead body shall be cast out. Right, day. so he's cursed. God cursed him out from sitting on the throne of David. So no one through his line can be called the son of David. Okay. So if... Matthew wants to make Jesus the son of David through this genealogy he cannot have Jehoiakim it's like shooting yourself on the foot because Jehoiakim is cursed anyone that comes from Jehoiakim is not going to be sitting and claiming the throne of David yes. that is why he removed it so two errors one is errors of genealogical lineage of the names so it's more than 14 number one secondly the reason why he's omitted is because of a theological reason and this is that God cursed Jehoiakim that anyone that comes through his line they will have no right to sit and claim the throne of David that is why Matthew has made Jesus through this line but taking it off as if people later on would not realize but, but they the Jewish people the Jewish people pointed this out not the Muslims they pointed it out look look at Matthew so this is one of the reasons I mean this is just the first page Matthew has been demonstrated now with one example where he's distorting history to make 14 generations when it's not it's more than 14 yeah. and the reason of this distortion is a theological one if we now say okay, well, okay that's something that we can look up later what if we show you one after the other the prophecies that Matthew makes inventing fabricating distorting then you will say the chances are this particular author Matthew is being dishonest and he's have a theological agenda to write his gospel to make whatever he wants to make Jesus to be he says later on the example number two about Jesus was prophesied that he shall be called the Nazarene as was spoken by the prophets okay but so no this is the second we're example away. we're going to worship the Lord Jesus so Christ in spirit and truth shall as he received worship from his disciples he received worship when he was a baby from the wise men only God is to be worshipped okay Jesus importantly Christ was worshipped. Look, as thank God for the was worship and the all edit spoken. this thank because you. you're full By of the father of the devil the prophet okay, okay, okay look look Leon, we've got to worship before before you go I mean of course you, you will go when you're running away no no one's saying Jesus that was but I'm giving you two examples was Jesus of Nazareth I'm not speaking to you my friend that takes away this gentleman here and that was the inscription of Pontius Pilate on the 
going to come forward a little bit. Jesus of Nazareth, yeah. the King of the yeah. Jews. So go ahead. Written in Latin, but Hebrew, Jesus and Greek. Nobody took his place. Spirit, right? It was Jesus who was crucified. Uh, excuse me, Jesus can you remove your dog? Nazareth. Why is your dog sitting on my feet? My dog can sit where he wants. Really? You can always move. So he can sit on your head? If he wants to. Let him then. Okay, my friend. He's not going to. Will you have um, to go to worship? Yeah. Are you coming? Or do yeah, you yeah. Um, look, look. Before you go, no, we're going to be look this up as you realize. Okay, my God point has an appointment I, I'm, with I'm us. I'm speaking. I'm yes, saying, does. if you search the entirety of the Old Testament, let me hear what I'm. Let me that's what, that's just hear what I'm saying. Business. If you read the entirety yes, for the last two thousand years, yes. Christians have not found a prophecy from a prophet of God in the Old Testament yes, we where are. he was called in as a yeah. Galilee of the nations, the people that sat in darkness so, have seen as a, a great light. As a true, sincere individual like you are, seen a great light. Study that. Yeah, and Jesus. And then you realize how much you is being dishonest. Okay. He is Thank the light you. of the world. Bye bye. The people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. Bye -bye. Jesus Christ is a light. Yeah, yeah, You're late. <laughs> so this is what happens. Unfortunately, when we try to reason with people, they realize they're speaking to one of us here and they take them away. They take them away. I mean, that's fine. We only hope that gentleman that I've spoken to, given these two examples, you know, sincerely looks into this and then he is guided. And let's leave it to that. Thank you.